So what can you tell us about it? Absolutely nothing. I'll get told off. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I think the, the second season, from my point of view, I feel like the writing is stronger. I feel like everyone has really settled into their characters. And I mean, there's so many great actors on the show anyway, but seeing everyone grow and become more comfortable in their characters, like we know our characters now better than anyone else. Everyone, once you've played, once you've done the first season, that's the fear gone. Second season, your character just gets to develop. So I think that everyone is on their A game. Like I, I'm just impressed by, I'm so lucky to work with these people. And being that so much of season one, um, Mary's story was about like trying to get her own autonomy, um, will motherhood be like a further extension of like trying to achieve that autonomy? Like, so? yeah, I think that you know, Mary, she, she last season the thing that she was living for was you know this world that was going to be accepting of women and you know celebrating giving women a voice and celebrating music and art and not being ruled by these puritans and this season it's the same fight but it's not just for her in a selfish way it's so she can live in a world with her son and because in a puritan society you know single woman with a son it just wouldn't happen um, I think that for her now she has a reason to live and a purpose in achieving this grand right even if those witches that she was working with, the, the Essex witches, she doesn't trust them anymore. She has her own, she's kind of gone out on her own really this season. A little bit about Mary's relationship with Mercy. I love that dynamic, and I've seen the season premiere, and things get very interesting. What do you tell us about that? Well, I mean, first of all, Elise is such a fearless actress, and for someone who, I mean, she's turned she turned 21 like this year or something, and. She's so brave and she's so interesting and her work this this I mean last season she was obviously incredible and fearless this season it's like this it's, she's even more of a threat to Mary and to me as an actor because she's such a scene stealer I'm like oh God, she's good she's just she's just so interesting to watch and the the dynamic between them now is Mercy is crazy and she's dangerous and you can't negotiate with crazy but Mary loves her like she you know she adopted her into this and she feels sort of responsible for her Mary's not e once she gets to know I think she could kill a hundred people but one person who she knows she would struggle killing she, she would only be good on like a mass level sort of like a politician you know like when they send people to war that's what Mary's good at she wouldn't be able to have like a I think she would struggle to kill Mercy but Mercy now has become so dangerous that is she going to have a choice but to do that, you know? And then, um, obviously the show is very exciting and very entertaining. But Thank you. <laughs> but do you also feel sort of a responsibility with um, some of the more heavy material to maybe like inspire women to be like as strong and, you know, like, you know, go getting it within their own lives? Because I think that she's such a strong character that like you can really inspire a lot of like impressionable young viewers to do the same. Yeah, I, that's an interesting question. I think, you know, I I think just having like a, a show where there's like, and now we've got like five very strong female characters on, um, all in the, with their own storylines and their own like issues, their own set of issues. Ni none of them are all good or all bad. I think for me that is sort of inspiring for all women, you know, like you want to feel like you can be whoever you are without being judged and there's a certain that's how I sort of relate to the what Mary wants with the witchcraft she just wants a world in which she's treated equally oh, make it a Well, you know, I think that Mary does. Mary believes John is dead. You know, that's it. Once, once she didn't go to meet him at the end of the finale, there was a good chance that he was going to die. That the militia were going to find him, and she believes him dead. So she has to push that to the back of her mind and that relationship. But there is a presence of John. And I think she feels that, and it's very confusing with her for her. And I think that at this point she believes that's coming from her son. Um, but it's a tough situation where she's trying to face the fact that this person has died, but she still feels like he's with her. So it's a, it's almost like having this 
this nagging feeling that she's got, but she can't operate the way she has, been, the way she needs to, to get on, knowing, thinking that he's still alive. So she has to sort of toughen herself back up again, and like I just said over there, like fuck the pain away. Like I think there's a certain amount of it. She's just like, no, get on. Like you know, you need to get back to your best, where you don't care about anyone. And I think that's sort of where she's at. Thank you so much. No, thank you.